Hello, welcome to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. I'm instructor Michael, and today we'll be covering how to format your essay and MLA. Let's say that you finished your essay, right? And you wanted to format it in MLA, right? In the previous video, we talked about what is MLA and what is it specifically for. Uh, usually MLA is if you are a international student, right? And you plan to taking classes in America, um, MLA is a humanities format style that is used for many written assignments, right? Usually for English humanities, maybe some sociology classes, etc. Right? Uh, but it depends on the instructor. And something I want to cover in this video is how to format your essay. Right? So let's begin. Uh, in the previous video, I talked about how you have to have uh, everything double spaced, right? So uh, everything has to be one inch margins on here on the side. This is a one inch margin. And on top, it should be a one inch margin. And then over here, it should be in the one inch margin. Usually your uh, Word document already comes in one inch margin. So you don't have to change it. But if you do have to change it, you just can click on layout, right? And then you go click on size, I believe, or is it? Uh, no, margins right here. Click on margins, and then uh, it should be on normal, right? Normal is the standard for MLA. So you can just click on layouts, margins, normal. Another thing that we also talked about too is how you have to have everything double space, right? So we click on these two uh, right here where it says line and paragraph spacing, the arrow pointing up and the arrow pointing down. So we click on 2.0, right? And now our paper is double spaced. Another thing we have to consider too is the formatting, right? Uh, the Actually the style of the font. So usually the style of the font can be Times New Roman, right? Normal, or it can be Calibri as well. But usually the standard is Times New Roman. So it's always best to choose Times New Roman unless your professor specifically states a different type of uh, font format, right? So let's go with Times New Roman. So we switch it to Times New Roman. Another thing too is that we also change it to 12, uh, a 12 point font, right? So now the font is at 12 points. Um, again, your instructor may want you to change it, right? But read the instructions and also ask your professor, right? But this is the usual standard, which is Times New Roman, 12 point uh, size font, double space, one inch margins, right? Okay, so something that we talked about before is also putting uh, uh, what if you have a title page or how do you structure your title page? In MLA, there isn't really a title page. It's just your name, right? Your name, instructor's name, class, and date, right? And then title right here. Uh, this right here stays on the left side, on the left side of the paper, while your title stays in the middle. So let's do this now. Let's say that my name is Chris Moon, right? And then my instructor is to say Professor Pro, Professor Covarubias. Right, and then let's say that we're taking English 101, just for example. And today's date would be this today's date. Oh, switch this over back to here. Today's date would be August, would, would be what? Uh, 8, 19, 2022, right? Sometimes teachers want you to write out the whole date, right, in words. Or you can also write it out like this. I think this is a little bit more easier for most students. But you, what you would have is the month, the day, the year, right? So the month, the day, the year. And then we would have our next, we would work on our title, right? I wrote a, I say, a really, really quick essay on global warming. You can say the dangers, this would be our title, the dangers of climate change, actually climate change, not global warming. So the dangers of climate change. So this would be our title. So every single word, except for uh, these articles here, every single word would have to be capitalized, 
right? And it's something that you can do to help maybe, let's say that you have it uncapitalized. Let's say we go here. Everything is lowercase. Something you do is you can highlight it. Click on here where it says change, uh, change case, right? Click on uh, capitalize each word. And now all the words are capitalized, right? Okay, so we're still not finished with this page here. So something also mentioned before is that we have to put uh, the page number, right? And the page number, we can do that by clicking on insert, click on page number, and click on page number again. And then it'll give you an option bottom of the page, footer, and right or left. We're gonna stay on right. Instead of footer, we're gonna go to header, right? So that brings a number on top of the page, right? So you should have a number here. Something else that is a part of MLA format is putting your name or your last name on the header. So let's say my name is Chris Moon, right? Uh, here's my last name, Moon, on the header, but we want it right next to the page number. So we click on tab on your keyboard. There should be a button called tab. Click on it right here. Yeah, but looks looks what happened if I put tab again, right? It's a way, it's right next to my number and that does not look correct. So we would do this, go back space, put in the middle, just hit space until it gets all the way at the end. Just hit the space bar, hold the space bar down until you reach the one. All right, there we go. This is the end of the one. So in order for you to get out of the header, right? You can double click on top right here for the header. Just click on top, double click. And to get out, you double click again, All right? So this is completely fine. Okay, now let's format the paragraphs. According to the MLA citation guidelines, every single uh, beginning of the paragraphs must be indented. So uh, you don't really have to do anything in your settings. All you have to do is hit tab and it's automatically uh, set to correctly being indented. And then we do that to every other sentence. So we click tab, I mean, every other paragraph. So we do that in this one, we hit tab. We go on to the, uh, to the conclusion, hit tab. And then we should be completely fine with this, right? So remember to, at the, to indent your paragraphs by hitting tab. Okay. So this is our works cited page, right? Uh, something we covered in the also previous lesson is that when you are citing something, you just have to put the name. You don't have to put the, you can put the page number if you're directly quoting something, but if you're paraphrasing or summarizing, uh, you just can put the name of the article that you're reading. Or the, or the source that you used, right? Another thing too is that look, we have a, uh, when we have the citation, we put the period at the end. We get this, we get rid of this period right here at the end of the sentence, because it lets us know that it's connected, that this citation is connected to the sentence right here, right? Okay. So now we have this works cited page right here. That's something that you have to understand with a works cited page is that they have to be on its own separate page, right? It cannot be right next to the end of the paragraph or the beginning of the paragraph or any part of the essay. It has to be on its own separate page, right? So we go works cited, right? And then we have this reference right here. So with this reference, uh, we need to change it. Sometimes I see people do this with their MLA citation. This is incorrect, right? It actually should be the opposite. So let's delete this. What you do here is that you should hit enter, tab, and then hit on the, go on the second line, hit tab. And this is how you get the correct uh, ci uh, reference cited um, link or 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 a citation correctly. So let's do that again. So hit enter, I already, I already hit the enter. So hit tab, 
and then go to the second line, hit tab, right? It indents the second lines. So the first line is not indented, right? And the second and third are always going to be indented. And the, uh, also the lines after that as well. Okay. So let me get one more source, right? Let me get a source and see. Let me see here. Yeah. Let me get one more source and see how we can uh, also make this helpful as well. Because something we have to understand that with a with MLA or MLA cita uh, format, with the citation, everything is alphabetical order, right? Let's say that we have somebody named A right here, blah, 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 blah. We have B right here, blah, 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 blah. C right here. Every, every single citation with the last name has to be in alphabetical order, but that would also be in the future video. So this is how you have an MLA citation page, right? You have your first name, last name, right? Uh, your professor's name, your class name, the date, title, the header with your last name and page number, indented, right? Indented paragraphs at the beginning of each paragraphs, right? Your works cited page in the middle, and then your citation, right? With the indented on the second, third, and then as well as the third, fourth, or fifth line if it's a long citation, right? So if you have any questions, remember to please comment in the video below as well please like and subscribe to this channel uh it'll really help uh this channel grow and i like to put more content like this out in the future future for most students okay all right have a good day and take care bye-bye